Hello, and welcome to another devlog, which is a bit overdue since my brain went on vacation and I had a hard time bringing it back. In order to build up my momentum again, I started by modeling a couple things that I can use to decorate the game, like the blink sign and the buoy by the dock. After that, I moved on to the mechanics needed for the shop. I mentioned in a previous devlog that I would try to use scriptable objects for all of the upgradable tools. So I started with the fish finder since I already had most of the functionality for it. I created a few different tiers for it and filled in some of the information. Then I wrote a script that holds a list of all the tiers, and it also keeps track of the current tier. By keeping track of the current fish finder, I have access to all the information I need, like the area that it can detect fish. I plan to do something like this for all of the other tools, which would mean that the only data I have to keep track of is the current tier of each of the tools. And for now I have a cheater shop set up that lets me upgrade or downgrade the tier of the fish finder at no cost just to test it. I think it should be a good format to follow for all of the other tools. I also added a weight component to the fish now, so whenever a fish spawns it's given some random weight based on the type of fish. My first idea with these weights was to have the fishing line be one of the upgrades, so you would only be able to catch fish up to a certain weight before you upgraded the fishing line. If I do that, I also want to give the player some indication of the weight of the fish, and thought that maybe I could use the weight to modify the size of the silhouette. I also thought it would be cool if instead of each type of fish just having a set value, the weight also played a role in how much the fish will sell for. For now those are just on my idea list on Trello, but I'll probably end up implementing both of them. For the next sprint, I want to focus on the gameplay loop, mainly changing the behavior when a day is over. I think I'll add a clock to the UI to let the player know how much time is left, and when the day ends, the gameplay screen will fade out and a recap screen will show up. I picture something similar to Stardew Valley where the player can see all of the fish they sold and for how much. At the start of the next day, the player will be taken to the shop to buy upgrades. I'm trying to decide whether I want to include consumable items too. They would be things like bait and maybe something to increase some of the player's fishing ability. Let me know what you think in the comments, other opinions really help me out. That's it for this video, so thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.